Hey everybody, I know Debbie's not quite finished, but I'm popping on one minute early so Jane can get me shared over into the group whenever she's ready. And it'll give me a second to um, get everything going down here. Let's see. Um, better do that. And see if I'm really on here. I want to make sure I've uh, dotted all my I's and crossed all my T's before I get started. All right. Um, it's four o'clock. I am, let me turn on my light. Wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. I am Lindy Tate from Taterbug and welcome. I am so excited to be in the uh, Mixed Media Mystery Box Challenge again this month. This is our third one. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Marlene and Catherine. Oh, all my friends are getting here so fast. Charita's here. Therese is here. Janice. Deb. Hey, Carol. Hey, Opa. Lori. Look, there's Jane. Wow, they're going so fast. I can't keep up. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. This is going to be so much fun. I finally get to open my package from Jill from Ups -a Daisies. I have to say, yeah, I'm here, Gwen. Uh, I have to say... I'm blown away by the talent today. Everybody has done such a beautiful job. The pressure is on. I'm sweating. <laughs> Can I pull this off? Because, I mean, from starting out with Jill to Laura, uh, to uh, Lisa, uh, Joni, everybody. Everybody has just done such a gorgeous job. Debbie just blew it out of the water. Hey, Tony. Thank you, Donna. Hi, Joyce. Oh, let, we'll see, Betty. We will see. Let, let's let's get on with it now. I, I've been waiting for a long time to get to see what Jill sent me. So let's get to getting. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Minnie. And y'all, I didn't put anything out here, really. It's just the stuff that's already on my table. I probably should have tried. I don't ever know what to pick. So, you know, I don't ever know. How do you know? Let's see. Ooh. Oh, look. Look at these stencils already on the outside. What does that say? Stick and seal reusable stencil. Oh, thanks, Jill. Hey, Stacy. Hey, there's Michelle. Oh, look at who. Look at all the goodies. <gasps> Look at these cool little clips. Doot, doot, doot. And they've got a little hanger on them. Oh, my goodness. Look. Oh, Jill. Pearls and wire. Stop it. Thank you, Elena. Look, there's another one of these little clippy doos. That's tuck. I don't think it's supposed. There we go. Look what she did. Jill makes some amazing pieces. She makes pieces. And um, while, I, oh, look, spools. I love spools. Oh, I know she did that too. Look at that. How fun. And this one. Oh, what am I going to do? There's not, a, there's not a surface in here, so I'm going to have to make up the surface. Look. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. I love that. And it's got a B on it. Y'all, hey Stephanie. Hey Diane. My table looks dark. Or is it just me? I need to I need to bring it down some, the camera down some, and I'll do that when I get started. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, and we've got the stencil. And we've got this. Oh, Golly, there's a um, there's a dragonfly on this one, and y'all know I love dragonflies. Look how pretty that is. All right, now now we gotta we gotta think for a minute, and once I get going, then then I can chitty chat. <laughs> oh, these are so fun. Mmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to grab a surface again. 
Okay, y'all, let me grab a surface here real quick. I know where it is because I just had it. Why not this month, instead of pulling out the biggest piece that I have in my studio, how about just an 8 by 8 canvas panel? That'll do, Lindy. Oh, Jill, this is all so awesome. Thank you. Now what are we going to come up with to create? This is the fun part. I always have such a hard time. I do too, Lori, uh, getting these unwrapped. So forgive me. Um, oh, why they're, they, mm, they make them so hard. They need to give me something to grab onto. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you again, Tammy. Um, y'all have y'all heard Lisa and Jill talk about it. I'm sure Jane's going to talk about it, uh, when she's live at, um, six o'clock, but the mixed media mystery box subscription box is going out. The very first one that Jane Belante curated is going out on February 15th. For, on February 16th, 10 new slots open up for subscribers for Lisa's box. Well, it's for every month. There's the, there's the link right there. We've got a wait list. There's only 10 slots, y'all. If you have any idea that you want to do this, get on that wait list. Um, you're not going to be disappointed. The four of us, Jill... Jane, Lisa, and myself are each curating a box a month. Jane is sending out this first box. I'm so sorry if you didn't get in on that one because it's pretty great, as you can well imagine. And Lisa is curating the March box that's going to go out on the 15th. That's where we have 10 new openings. Um, Lisa is already making hand making some of the items for the box you don't want to miss it it's gonna be so much fun are you debbie you got in on it who all got in on the first box i'm dying to know oh that's so pretty they're both beautiful but i, th I think i've just got to do the dragonfly i love it and she did, I didn't get a I didn't get a note in there. I know I have to use three things, but she didn't specify which three things. So I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, okay, let's get get going here. I'm just gonna use a little um, y'all. Through no fault of either one of us, you know I use my I love my decoupage medium. I've got the empty jar right here. This is what I love to use. It's from Jane Belante Art. It is from Redesign. It's the decoupage gel. I used it so much it's all gone. So Jane's sending me more. The box made it to Memphis and then went right back to Wisconsin. <laughs> Thank you, post office. So, um, I am using my matte medium from Liquitex in the interim. I know it's lost and I'm so sad. We're both so sad about it. I don't know why I thought that much. I needed that much, but here we go. Let's just, ooh, I went a little nuts out with that. I can fix it. Hey, Jody. Hey, Lori, I am so happy y'all are, you're here. Um, Lori is the owner of Boho Bevy Boutique that I've been talking about. I've been watching everybody today and I created another piece with the transfer that I got from Lori because I can't stop <laughs> and I just love it. I had to post that. Um, I think she's got a reorder in, but she's going to get more of them, so never fear. Yeah, Tony, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure that's what happened. It's just a glitch in the 
<laughs> well, they say the, a glitch in the matrix somewhere. No, really, there's just a, a, you know, it happens. Some sort of black hole between Wisconsin and Tennessee in the postal system. And I feel so bad for Jane. Because, I mean, those are her products. And she's trusting them to get them where they need to go. Once, once they leave our hands and we pass them off to the Postal Service, there's really nothing we can do. We have a tracking number and we try to keep up with it and that's about all we can do. If anything, you know, I hope instead of it being lost, it'll at least get back to you, Jane, so you can, uh, you'll have it. We can try again. I'm just tapping that down. I don't mind. I, I didn't get many wrinkles in it, but I don't mind that texture. Um, I just want to be careful because it is a napkin and it will tear. So, let's gently, gently, gently. I do want to kind of get that crease out of there. That'll probably come out when I seal it. Isn't it beautiful, Stephanie? Oh, yeah, I can. I was going to do that. Thank you. Let me turn it down so y'all... Where am I? Let me turn it down so y'all can see more of what I'm doing. I got to do better at reading y'all's comments, too. Well, <laughs> it's just a little nerve-wracking once you're getting started and you didn't even know what you were going to be doing. So, okay, we're done. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> I don't know why this camera is so wonky today. I usually have it. Okay. You don't need to see me. Is this good? I don't know. Keep me in check, y'all. Did you really, Connie? It's beautiful. I don't know that I've seen this napkin before. I love it. All right. Now, <laughs> that was the easy part. What's next? I really love these little clippy things. Peggy, that's okay. That's okay. I love that purple too, and I love, love, love that dragonfly right there. Mmm. So. Hold on. Okay, so, <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, this may be really, really crazy to do. I don't wanna cover up that dragonfly though. Hold on, I don't wanna cover up. Okay, so, what if, okay, I'll need to paint these. Or, or, wait a minute. I'm working it out, y'all. I promise I'm working it out. <laughs> Kim! <laughs> I know. It's the little things that make me so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just, here's where my brain's kind of going right now. Let me just tell y'all. I'm thinking about putting some, uh, you know, an old um, book page or a hymnal page around this. Wrap the wire around here. And then I can have the clips on the wire holding this and hanging from the bottom. What do you think? Is that crazy? Diane, thank you so much for those stars. You're so sweet. So I could I could hang it from. All right, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking that idea. So put it maybe about right here. Now think think with me through this. So the wire will be between the two spools. I can use the little clippy doos right there, and the pearls would be right here. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I mean, it's not 
not my typical. I wonder if I could glue them down like that. That would make a, yeah, that would make a little more sense, right? I think I'll lay them down like this. I'll glue them. <gasps> Opa, look at you. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, here we go, here we go. Thank you, ma'am. Let's do that. What part do I wanna use? How oh, pretty, and then they just go together. All right, you know I don't measure, right, y'all? Okay, now, now I've got a plan. And it's gonna work out right. Let's see. Oh, yes, our class is tomorrow, Peggy. Thank you for reminding me. Cindy, you must think I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, and I get another dragonfly on it. How perfect. And we're just going to, I need to trim a little more off. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to tear. This could be a huge mistake, but there's more napkin if I don't do well. And I'm only 15 minutes in, y'all. I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah, Peggy was mentioned tomorrow I am painting our little cute cookbook page pig live. And um, we have already finished the teabag journal. So if y'all think you might want to make a teabag journal with me, you want to get in on that? Now, because we, we uh, I've made four so far. I finished out another one. Was it this morning or yesterday? I can't remember. Look how pretty that's going to look. And there's that dragonfly. I love it. All right. Did I put that up? Nope. Here it is. What'd you almost miss, Jody? Can y'all see still? Let me know if you can't see. I wanna, I wanna know. Oh, did you, Janet? Uh, I've used my whole box of tea bags because I'm having so much fun. And then Carol Parks, who was on here, that sweet lady came to pick up her auction items Thursday evening. And she brought me two gorgeous journals that she made, and I love them. I love them so much. I'm sorry if I'm missing what y'all are saying. Marilyn, I know. Oh, it'll be available. It's going to, I'm not you know, closing it down anytime soon. I don't have any plans to close it down. I like to leave my classes open um, for anybody who wants to take them later. I want to get that whole dragonfly right there. And then, oh, uh, well, is Jill on here? I think Jill had to work, so she may not be here. But thank you, Jill. And Jane, thank you so much for having me back for this wonderful um, event. I love doing this one. It's so much fun. I love doing all of them, but y'all know I love mixed media. So I got my little dragonfly on there. I'm going to make sure he's front and center again. So let me let that dry and let's wrap this other one. Oh, like the big, the big spools, like uh, Jen from Home Sweet Create um, puts her sari silk on. I love those. Uh, Julie Moidel has some of those that she and her mom have collected that are so beautiful. I just like this torn edge on the napkin. I know that's tedious for y'all to have to watch. But I did fire up my glue gun 
This has been a fun day, hasn't it, Tony? I love to watch the creators as their wheels spin and you hear their, you know, their whole thought process and then see that whole thing come to fruition when they had no clue what they were gonna get. You know, it's one thing, I can spend days preparing for a life where, you know, I'm figuring out how I'm gonna do something and what, what will I need to use for that and and then with these, you just don't know till you open that box or that envelope. You gotta think on your feet. But, like I was, you know, Jane and I were talking about it. It's so fun to, to kind of put, you know, it's fun but scary to step outside your comfort zone every now and then and see what you can do. I like that kind of rough edge. That's pretty. Opa, gold star. Thank you, thank you. That was a great idea. Okay. So, now, let's, I kind of need to dry a little bit, I think. Once I, you know what? Hey, Lisa, how are you? Thank you. I loved what you did this morning so much. Oh my goodness, driftwood <laughs> speaks to my heart. I love it. Texas Breeze Creations, hello, my sweet friend. Okay, so let me just eyeball. This is gonna, this is gonna need to dry for a minute. I want my dragonfly to show. You won't really be able to tell, but. See, now it's, oh, okay, and I want to, uh, I want to, um, distress, 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 these, that's a pink, oh, good, don't touch that, I don't know that I want to do that, let me do, I'm just going to rub a little dark wax on it, I think to age it and then this is gonna oh this is gonna hang down and I get to little, use my little clippy do's I'm so happy hey Joyce hey Priscilla um, <clears throat> while those are drying just a little bit I gotta show you I've got to show you what I'm talking about some of you may be going what is a tea bag journal and this is a mixed media event so I hope Jane's okay with me sharing this with you this is my latest one. And I even had a little piece of paper that says, it had a tag on it that I cut out. It says, I promise it won't be boring. It's handwritten on there. So that's front and back. And the insides are little tea bags. And so I'll walk you through how to um, create this. I got out an old encyclopedia and that's the Louvre. Isn't that cool? So, and I just closed this one with this little clippy do. And then this one that I made um, out of, oh, well, this has scrapbook paper, a transfer. And what I'm doing inside this one is I'm painting little teacups. And I'm tucking in little scriptures inside the pouches. I think I'll do some teapots in here too. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about my teabag journal class. We're, we're just having a good time in there. I hit that with a little heat and get out my dark wax. And I know y'all, well, y'all probably think I'm crazy because she did send a purple one. Would it be better? I always go toward neutral. I don't know why I'm just a vanilla girl. So, I was thinking this, but I could also, you know, I could hang this pretty piece that's already purple that she made down. Well, you know, they're on clips. I can change them out. Lindy, use your brain, girlfriend. Okay, let me reach into my bag of tricks here. Without everything falling apart. I knew I was gonna have to get up. 
once or twice. And I want my little brush right here. Do you use <clears throat> do you use your your dry use tea bags or do you Oh I I use the um I use my dry used tea bags in um my altered trading cards, but these are unused. Excuse me, I show you how to um how to give them that aged look and uh, without it once you've used them how do I put it they're a little thinner and um, can tear more easily so the way we age them in the class that I show you uh, they they tend to hold up better mine have so far like I said I've made four and I'm even, you know, I'm painting one of them. I have, uh, I'm doing little tiny mixed media projects on each page. And uh, the other one is the one I showed you where I'm painting on the pages. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the other two yet. I'm not particularly thrilled with this, but this is just that bare dark wax, but uh. That's good enough. It's making it look aged enough. It just was so stark. Dina, hello, my sweet friend. How are you doing today? I'm happy to see you here. I can't wait to see yours, Diane. I'm excited to start seeing everybody's. I got to see Cindy's today, and I love it. She did her first page, and I love it, love it, love it. That's as exciting to me when I get to start seeing your paintings done or your projects done that, that you know, from the classes. Oh, I get so excited when I see those and, and hear that y'all enjoyed it and are having fun. Thank you, Donna. Oh, good. You have been a busy girl, Dina. I'm, I just am so happy for you with everything you're doing. I really am. You're just a... Good, just going to keep on soaring. Lay down, but tip sideways? I don't know. That might... That might. I, I like wonky, but I don't know. That might mess with my senses. <laughs> I got to look at that. Yes, Michelle, you noticed that? Uh, right on cue. Bo's right behind me, chewing that bone. I don't know if y'all can see his little bitty self, but... Yep, he's down there. I don't know why he does that. I don't get it. <clears throat> okay, Lori, let's see here. Um, where's my dragonfly? Right there. You're, you're saying tip them like, like into a V kind of shape? Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> he, he, Bo loves everybody. He just is the sweetest little guy. Hey, Trudy. <laughs> Trudy, some of mine have long handles. They do. They really do. This is just a cheapy cheap. All right, so if we're going to tie the... Lori, I, I get what you're saying, but... I don't know why I'm wonky. I really usually am. Yeah, Pat, that's how it's a thing. Where I craft, he chews. Hello, Teresa. All right. Let's go ahead and where's my wire? Right here. Now, I like the way she twisted those ends. Because it'll just hook right together like that. And... I'm only 30 minutes in. Okay, I gotta visualize. Y'all know how. I'd... Okay, why did that one clip so easily and this one's not wanting to do it? y'all see what I'm doing there? If 
and these can hang there and there. This is very different. I've never done anything like this. I kind of, I'm kind of digging it. What do y'all think? Uh-oh, Debbie. Go neutral. I kind of thought so too. Oh, y'all think so? Yay. I guess I was thinking they would be further apart. But... I love those little pearls there, and oh, I just really like it. So I think I'm going to move them up to about here. I'm not going to glue the wire on. That way, um, let's see. Wait, wait, I'm thinking. Because I've got time. Um, <laughs> Y'all, what if I... <clears throat> let, me, let me think a minute. Because I've got... A, we've got 30 minutes to be creative here. Um, Yeah, they're gonna. It'll be at the bottom of the hooks. Yeah, right, Wendy. I bet you can. I've got those wheels just turning. Smoke's coming out my ears. I'm thinking, what if? So I could extend. Whoops! Extend this some more. Instead of wrapping it around, I could just. Kind of glue it right here and <clears throat> here at the bottom you know have it kind of curve around there and then there's more room for this because this is going uh, horizontal do y'all see what i'm saying it's tater tot here ah! hey chris it, well, welcome, Wendy. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll come back and see, you know, kind of what we're all about on a on a non-event day. Um, I'd love to have you follow. Anybody who's new, welcome, welcome. Y'all like that idea? Okay, all right. Okay, that way. I almost wanted, to, okay visual person here let me um i think hot glue is gonna hold that don't y'all okay ollie i see you i see you let me that's that's a good idea there y'all i love having y'all tell me these great things so yeah then i can i can glue the wire down i can put the spool on top And then, the oh, I like that. Okay, does it need anything else? Does it need anything else? What do y'all think? Hey, Connie. Okay, I'm seeing hearts. I'm going to take that to mean we're, we're going to go with it. I just love this little wire with the... Um, with the pearls on it and let me get this because I don't want to this there's burn potential here diamond dust we may do that we I could diamond dust what if I just diamond dusted the um, wings on the little uh, dragonfly to make him stand out what do y'all think Bev there you go that's what we're going to do because we've got the time to do it. Yay. Oh, let's see. What I want to do, Cindy. Yay. I love when we're all on the same wavelength. Here it is. 
That'll make his little wings stand out. Oh, glass beads. Oh, I could do glass beads. I do have that. What do y'all think? Uh, diamond dust or the glass bead gel? Oh, I'm sorry, Dolly. I didn't see it. I think so, Gwen. Uh, oh, what a great idea, Phyllis. Well, I'm not going to glue. I'm just going to put two dots of glue, Betty. That's a great idea, but I'm going to just put the two dots of glue so the wire will be, um, the wire will be loose and I can just hang. All right. All right, I see gla Jody says glass bead. Glass beads, it's on. Okay, let me grab that. I think it's in my my um, cabinet of stuff over here. Right there it is. All right. Let's see, I'm going to use, I think I might just use this little um, palette. This is from Jane Belante Art, y'all. My glass bead gel is from janebelanteart.com. And you know these are going to show up better tomorrow. They'll sparkle tomorrow. They have to dry. My, my glass bead gel, the again, the Postal Service brush the top and I don't think it says um, I think it's a little more dried out than it should be but it's gonna work perfectly I just dig that's why I dig a little bit deeper down in there um, I might need to just transfer it into another container So after me is um, Michelle from My Shell Bell Creations. She's always so much fun. And then Jane is finishing us up at 6 Central. She'll be on from 6 to 7. So, um, yeah. It, so I was asking and then I got all involved in this and I didn't see. Uh, late again. Oh, Jeannie, that's okay. I'm just glad you made it. You'll see where I, I put the gel on the wings, and I'll try to wait till tomorrow to take a good picture of it, so those will you can really see the 3D effect of those. Um, so I was asking about the mystery box. So you'll be, in essence, uh, getting to do what we're doing today. You're going to get that box in the mail once a month. I think I used up all my 3D butterflies. Mm, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I think it's over here. Can I leave it over here? I'll get a butterfly, y'all. Um, I could do a butterfly with Lisa Ahmad's uh, chalk it, chalk it up, the chalk I'm sorry, Lisa. Oh, I've got it, y'all. <laughs> with paper, because she taught me how to do that. But. Since we're we're on an hour time frame, this is from Hobby Lobby. I got it over a year ago. Won't that be pretty? Thank you so much, Wendy. I appreciate that. What's the matter with Chris? Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Text me later and tell me, okay? hate hearing that. Um, anyway, I asked y'all, isn't it cute? It's a, uh, it looks like metal, but it's wire and they're over in the fairy garden section of Hobby Lobby and I love them. I used the other one and I think there's actually three because I think Trish and I did 
our project with these butterflies and we each used one well it was, that was a long time ago oh that y'all are brilliant um so back to the mystery box this is what you're going to get to do once a month when you get your boxes we have a group a facebook group and we will be, the four of us will be going live after we get the boxes and playing with them. And you know, they're going to look all completely different, just like all of yours will look completely different, even though we're using the exact same things. Um, it, it's just going to be so much fun. And we only have 10 more. Simone, hey! We only have 10 more, um, 10 new openings for March. So, I have a feeling those are going to go pretty fast. So, get on that wait list, y'all. I'm not worried about this dot of glue because it's going to get covered up by the spools. So, I'm just using my little Dollar Tree tool here. Um, it's a mask applicator tool. Oh, this is going to, I'm loving this now, y'all. I really am. I'm going to come in about the same amount on this side. I want these little cute twirlies she put at the end. So, now, Jill will be curating the April box. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But you see some of the things that you may be getting from Jill. She makes some amazing ephemera. And I'm going to, I can't wait to use this as a stamp. Or, yeah, I'll probably use it as a stamp to get that, um, so I can use it over and over. You could also use it on top, you know, for a 3D effect. But I think I'll ink it up and stamp it on stuff. Um, it ships out, the very first one ships out, Vicky, on the 15th. And, of course, it's kind of up to, um... It's up to the post office when you get yours, but hopefully it won't take long. Yeah, you won't have an hour time limit on yours. That's true. I got to see what Natasha said. I didn't even know Natasha was here. Hey, Natasha. What did she say that I missed? Y'all are so sweet to wish my kid well. You need to purchase the mixed media mystery. How do you, yeah, when you, um, when you purchase, when you subscribe to the Mixed Media Mystery Box, um, you get automatic access to the private group. And that's where the four of us will be going live. We are already, you know, posting stuff in there and uh, just excited about it. So, it's going to be fun. I, I'm... I'm so, I'm like a kid waiting for Christmas for this. I, I'm really excited about this. Because I love this so much. It, it can be nerve-wracking right at the beginning. Um, but it's so much fun once you get into it to realize that you took a box full of stuff that you got. Beautiful ephemera. And created something with it, and then you'll get to see what everybody else creates, and you'll be like, "Oh, I never thought to do that with that." And they may be things that you can use over and over again, y'all. So you'll get ideas, you know, from the other people of how to use those supplies too. So there, I can just think of a million reasons, Lori. Um. I am too vanilla. I really like that pop of white, and I love the bronze on him. I, I hear what you're saying, but there's so there's all this beautiful purple, and I really like how he stands out with the white. But that is a, that's a great idea. Okay, let's see. So let's put that here. Oh, These little clips, y'all, it doesn't take much to make me happy. All right, and I'm just going to put that sweet butterfly right there. 
I think I'll move him up. I don't want him to get too close to the dragonfly. I want him to have his little spotlight too. Hey, Amanda. He shines like the sun. Yes. Being all proud. I just want to hold that in place. I like the 3D effect. Teresa. Oh, I love that idea. We're going to do that too. We're going to do, y'all have great ideas. It is exactly like mixed media, Regina. It really is. So here's where we are so far. I could not love this more. Oh my goodness. Let's Oh, Jill, you did me right, friend. <laughs> How pretty is that? Oh, I love it. But we got to get some little flowers to put in here. I'm going to go get some little flowers. Let's do that next. Oh, this is fun. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Sue. Yes, it's interchangeable. So now if I get in a purple mood, I'll just pop this purple one on here. Let's look and see what that looks like. Because we can. I don't know either, Kim. He was fine when he left here. He said he wasn't having a very good day. And that makes me sad. Maybe he'll text me after the live. So it... Mm. I'm going to have to, I, pro, oh, I got to figure out how I'm going to hang this too, because normally this would go in a, um, in a plate holder. What am I trying to say? So if I decide I want purple down there, I got purple down there. I still prefer the other one for it. You could, you could clip a favorite photo. That's a great idea. You could make another little pretty, like like uh, Jill made. I could do, you know, I could take a piece of this napkin and do the same thing and have it hanging. Let me get some little flowers and see what we can do um, with some little flowers in there. Oh, what have I got? What have I got? Y'all bear with me one second. Uh, I would love some little dried flowers. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm thinking. Hold on, y'all. Are they in here or did I already use them? Let me see. My suitcase of goodies. Nope, that's not the one. Is it? One of these full of flowers. There we go. No. Because those are blue. These are the ones I want. I really would love these from the paper studio. But until I get some, because uh, now I know I'm going to want probably, knowing me, I'll get some white paper flowers like these and put those in there. Um, but in the meantime, let me find what I've got. Will you please say hello to everybody while I get some flowers out? Uh, I'll have to go over here. Okay. He was prepared, but Mr. T is going to regale you with. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. How's everybody today? What's my beautiful bride doing today? Huh? Yeah. Oh, wait, I think I found something. Hello, Michelle and Opa. Can you paint them? What can you paint? Can you paint? Some flowers, but I don't have enough of them. I would if I had two sets of them, I would. But hey, I Betty. Think I found something if I can dig it out here. Betty, check your email. Uh-oh. He's been sending emails out. Lynn Johnson, you better check your email, too. Uh-oh. Yeah. Look at all y'all getting some mail from my husband. Yeah. Hey, Joyce, Gail, Hazer, Scale, Chandler. Hey, 
Gail. You didn't, you, you're good. I don't think I'm going to. No, I've got something on the stove. Oh, okay. Let's see what I can do here. Button flowers would be so cute. Yes. So these I don't think are going to go. They're just a hint of, they're, you know, just a little bit hint of uh, yellow, but they're kind of tall. I'd have to cut those down. That's, <laughs> wait, look at this. No, that's a lot. <laughs> Woo! I don't think we're going to do this. <laughs> Y'all, this morning, he had some sausage that he needed to cook up. Now, these little purple do widgets are going to be great, I think. Let's let's play with those for a minute. So, he, I said, ooh, yum. I said, do you have any biscuits? He said, no, but I've got crescent rolls. So, that's even better. <laughs> so, he made, he uh, browned the, oh, that's it? Ah! Y'all, look. Look at the little, can you see the little purple flowers? Right there. Oh, that's it. Oh, that makes me so happy. So, he browned the, the sausage and rolled out the crescent rolls. I'm wonky, sorry. And um, stuffed the sausage in the crescent rolls with some cheese. And put cheese on the outside. Oh, my goodness. It was so good. I know. Look at this. Oh, thank y'all for all your great ideas. Look at those little flowers coming up out of there. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm almost thinking that I'm going to do... No, 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 I'm not. I am not. I like it just like it is. We don't need those. I need my... Y'all, okay, where did I put my little pretty? That she... Right here. Right here. How am I doing on time? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Michelle, are you ready to go? You're up next. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, I got to write Jill and tell her thank you for an awesome box. Thank you all for your great ideas. Look. This is so different. And I got to you. Let's see. I used her napkin. The spools, the wire, and pearls, and you're ready. And this, oh, I, and the clips. I just about used everything. And y'all, I've still got, I'm going to make, this is screaming at me. I've got to make something with that. So you'll see me doing something with that very soon. Oh, this was fun. So, since I've got just a few minutes, yeah, I think so. I think I'll do that, Lori. Just put a little jute hanger on the back or something so it can just hang on a hook. I mean, on a nail or hook. Thank you, Jill, for all the goodies. And thank you, Jane, for letting me be a part of this fun event. So, while I've got a couple of minutes left, let me show you all this. You probably saw Cindy... Um, Cindy shared the link, but this is what we're painting tomorrow on a cookbook page. I give you a template. The template's already in the class. You also have free printables of, you get to choose which recipe page you want to use. This one is baked ham, because that's my sense of humor. This one is ham. And this one is smoked pork. So, we're going to be painting on these if you want to. You don't have to. And you can put this, you can decoupage this to a canvas or a canvas panel, which is probably what I'm going to do. And then you transfer your template onto this, and we're going to paint tomorrow. I'm going to show you how to paint this adorable little springy. I named her pork chop, but, you know. And then the other one is my tea bag journal. Oh, are you, Natasha? Wonderful. Thank y'all so much for the hearts. This has been fun. I had a great time. Um, 
So we've got two more. You want to stick around in the Create Every Day with Jane Belante Art group, where the, um, once I'm done, you'll... Hey, my sweet friend, Teresa from Jeremiah Dreams. How are you? Um, you'll want to refresh. And Michelle will pop up in there next. And then Jane will finish us out. So I can't wait to watch and see what they do. A link for the next. Janet, is um, the link is in the description to go to Jane Belante, Create Every Day with Jane Belante Art. We got lots of links for you today. Um, oh, thank you so much for saying that, Michelle. Uh, go to that group. That's where you'll see everybody or you can go to their individual pages and that would be my Shell Bell Creations. She's next. After her will be Jane Belante Art and you can see them there. We have the waitlist link for the Mixed Media Mystery Box subscription box for y'all where you're going to get a box full of ephemera. At least five pieces every month curated by each one of us, uh, Jane is doing this month's box. It will ship on the 15th, so if you're already signed up for that, you don't have to do a thing. You're all set to go, um, and you're in until you cancel. So you're in for March and the duration, um, but there's only 10 new slots to subscribe. So be sure, if you want in, to go on and do that. Oh, thank you, Gwen. You too. Thank you so much. I hope you're feeling okay today. Hi, Peggy. Y'all have been so sweet to show up uh, for us today and cheer us on. And y'all, y'all gave me some great, great ideas. I had not even thought of my butterfly. Um, you, you told me to put flowers in the little spools like vases. I, I mean, I can't. That's just so good. Y'all are incredibly creative, so that's why you need to, to get boxes like this once a month. Don't you think? Don't you want to do this once a month? Plus, add to your... Who do not want to add to their uh, supplies? <laughs> I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's a busy day. Yeah, I do too, Kim. I love that I'll be able to change this up. Put a photo... Um, but I may have to hang this. I may hang this on my shutter over there. I have a green shutter right there. So I can hang this on the shutter and show y'all as I change it out. I will. I thank y'all for praying for Chris. I really appreciate that. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll let Chris know and I'll let y'all know how he's doing. I appreciate y'all, y'all loving on us. Y'all are so wonderful. And so sweet to do that. We feel it and we're thankful. Jane, thank you. This was so much fun. Thank you, Dolly. Thank you so much. Um, so y'all make sure you enjoy these last two hours of fun, creativity. Um, I just think this is such a cool event to kind of exercise stepping outside of our comfort zone. And maybe not do the same thing that we tend to want to do all the time. And just get get something in the mail that you don't know what it is. And bam, you've got one hour to, to uh, create with it. Now, y'all will have a lot more time than that to create with yours. <laughs> but um, we'll be doing it, the four of us. Jane, Jill, Lisa, and I will be doing that in the group with y'all. You know, opening up that box. And creating with, with it. And it's going to be so much fun. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you so much. Oh, Melissa, do you? I'm sorry. Yeah, I know Jill made these. Uh, she'll be curating the April box. And I'll be curating the May box. Lisa uh, Ahmad is doing March. And already making beautiful things to send to y'all. So, yeah. You don't want to miss out on that. I'm going to hang with y'all for one more minute. And then, no, that's it. My time's up. All right, y'all. Let me get a money shot. Okay. <laughs> y'all have a great rest of the evening. Enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. I'm not, we're not football watchers, but I, we know it's coming on. So y'all have a great day. I'll be on 
in in the painting group tomorrow and live at four at my usual time with paint pixie so i'll see you then bye y'all